My name is Ellen Painter. I've been painting with acrylic paints for two and a half years. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to complete an acrylic painting. I'm going to start by washing the canvas with a diluted light blue acrylic paint. Washing means just quickly putting a layer of paint over the entire canvas. Don't forget to include the edges of the canvas as well. Once dry, grid out your canvas into an appropriate sized grid. Some people don't require a grid depending on your level of skill. After you've finished your grid, you'll want to draw on a rough sketch. Keep in mind proper proportions, composition, and placement. You should have three darker corners and one light. Also, your focal point should not be centered. This draws the eye into the painting naturally and makes it more appealing. Now I am going to apply a purple coat to the areas of the painting that will automatically be darker or in shadows. First you will need to determine where your light source is to be coming from. A good way to figure where to put the purple is to squint at the picture you're duplicating, or the original, and the dark areas will be automatically emphasized. Next you'll add white paint to the highlighted areas of the sketch. Paint white opposite the purple, where light would naturally hit the objects. Always keep in mind where your actual light source is. Adding these light and dark areas in the beginning creates deeper shadows and brighter highlights in the end product, giving it added depth. Let your canvas thoroughly dry, then you're ready to do your color blocking. Color blocking is filling in the basic shapes with the appropriate colors. This gives your image a solid foundation to build on. Layers of paint will be added from here to create definition and details. Always keep in mind your direction of light and don't forget to carry your artwork around the corners of the canvas. This makes the end product cleaner in case your client does not plan on framing. Continue working your paints until you're satisfied. Once you have completed the finishing touches, add your signature. Now you know how to complete an acrylic painting. Have fun and try it yourself. Yeah.